Greetings, peeps of the interwebs. Jake here. So it's been a couple of weeks since I last uploaded anything, partially due to my busy work schedule, but I've also been working on the written languages um, of a couple of my races in my fantasy book, that being the elves and the Gigosians, who are the humanoid uh, lizard-like people. And a lot of that is thanks to Evan, who's really been helping me create the written languages. Um, because before that, I'd only created the written languages for the dwarves and the gnomes, their runic alphabet. And I had been wanting to create the alpha or written languages for some of the other uh, races and cultures in the fantasy world that I've built. Um, just hadn't gotten around to it. But then um, a while back, uh, I'd gotten together with him and another friend um, where we kind of just get together every now and then and brainstorm pick each other's brains on our different stories and all that stuff and kind of saw what he had done with his written language of um, for one of his stories and was completely blown away with the amount of detail that he put into it um, and so I was eager to jump on board with kind of um, having him help me create the you know written alphabet and stuff like that and um, so many thanks to Evan for helping me create the language for, or the written language, uh, rather, for the elves and the Gagosians. Um, and I will do a video eventually later on down the road, um, where I'll probably actually show the written alphabet for the different races and cultures that I've created at that point. Um, ideally I'd like to create some for the main, uh, you know, races and cultures. Um, I mean, I... Ideally, I'd like to have one for, like, just about all of them, but realistically, ooh, don't have the time for it, because uh, that, is, that is a lot of uh, alphabets to create. Um, so, for the, t the, the sake of time, and um, just being a little realistic here, <laughs> that's probably not going to happen, uh, unfortunately. But I figure if I can at least create the written alphabets for, you know, some of the main races, like the elves, dwarves, uh, some of the different human ones and all that stuff, then, you know, I'll, I'll be good. And I'll be content with that. So again, many thanks to Evan for uh, helping me with that. And I've also been working a little bit more on the um, actual spoken language of the dwarves, as that's a big part of the second book, which I've kind of been writing in between editing the first book. So that's something I've been working on as well. Um, and again, eventually I would like to do a little bit more on like the spoken languages of some of the different races as well. But that's later on down the road. Um, but in the meantime, I think if I can at least get the written alphabets for some of them um, and maybe get like a few words and phrases here, I can build off of that later on. But um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading uh, in the last couple weeks is even though I haven't been, um, you know, I, I guess writing as much as I would like to, I'm still trying to work in the realm of, you know, the fantasy world that I've been building um, and just kind of helping expand it in other ways. Um, so that's also been a lot of fun because I'm just a fan of linguistics even though... I only speak two other languages to some, though very small degree, um, of fluency. That being Spanish and French. Took four years of Spanish in high school and a year of French. Um, but just in general, I guess kind of coinciding with my love of history and culture, um, I guess that kind of uh, created my love of linguistics. Uh, can we talk linguistics as well? Um, and all the more reason why I wanted to kind of create the language, um, both written and uh, verbal languages for my cultures uh, from a fantasy book just to make it that much more authentic. Because um, again, even though it's fantasy and I could do whatever I want and just create a whole bunch of gibberish, um, I want my fantasy world to feel as real and as lived in as possible even within the realm of fantasy, if that makes any sense. Um, so another thing that I want to address here in this video uh, before I kind of start wrapping this up, is so R.R. Mendoza, who's been doing the artwork for me for um, the first book, you know, he did the four main characters, and he also did the incredible 
cover uh, for my book, um, which I've done videos on um, here on the channel. So feel free to check those out, just to admire his fantastic artwork. So, the reason why I'm bringing that up is, one, he's amazing. Two, uh, he has a website now. So I will link that in the description below, so that way you lovely people can check out his website and admire his amazing work. Because he's done other stuff outside of the, uh, you know, four main leads for my book and the cover. Um, so... For those of you who are interested in having any kind of artwork done, whether it be for a book or, um, I don't know, you just need some artwork done for a, a project of yours, or maybe you just, you know, you want a picture of your favorite comic book character or movie character, um, or just maybe a uh, sketch of your mom or something, I don't know, um, you can now contact him on his website and he will do that for you. Um, for his, you know, whatever his fee is, um, that's to work out with him. Um, but regardless of what it, what it is, the man is super talented, um, and again, not just saying that because he was kind enough to do artwork for me, but, like, when you just check out his, the range that this guy, uh, is capable of, um, then I think you'll be very eager to check out his website to admire his artwork and possibly even motivate you to, you know... I don't know, get, get, get work done for, um, maybe you've got a story you're working on yourself, or maybe you need, uh, some, just some kind of artwork done for whatever it is you're working on, he's the guy to go to. Um, so, yeah, cannot promote that enough, um, and I'll continue to do so pretty much in any future videos, um, there'll be links below for his website, um, because I want to just get the word out there, um, and promote his amazing artwork. So, um, that more or less wraps up this video, um, a little on the rambly side, um, but I feel like that's to be expected if you're familiar with the channel and have been following it for any length of time, um, can never really stay super on topic for very long. But yeah, that wraps up this video, hopefully you all have enjoyed, and, um, as for the next lore video, I'm kind of debating if I want to do it um, on maybe the halflings is kind of what I'm leaning towards right now, um, but there's still plenty of other uh, things to do it on, so if you all have any suggestions, you know, maybe you want to hear more about the elves, the gnomes, um, or some of the different human uh, races, feel free to leave your comments below and I'll go with that one. Um, and that'll help me kind of decide which one to go with. But as of right now, um, I'll, I'll probably do the halflings and try to get that recorded and edited hopefully sometime this week. Um, and, or at the week of, at the time of this recording. Um, so yeah. Um, you can also find me on Twitter, at IrishmanJake, if you want to tweet me. I'm not super active on there, but you can still tweet me and maybe that'll motivate me to actually start using Twitter more often. Um. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, everyone, cheers.